Hey there, Papa's Posse. Don't forget about that QR code. Take it to my eBay, YouTube, and Instagram page. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Once again, it's time for Papa's Comic Books, Coffee, and more. Okay, today's reading will be Flat Stanley and the Haunted House. I can read number two. It's a scholastic book. Copyright 2010 by Jeff Brown and Maggie Pamintuan. Now, don't forget, please hit that like button down below. Please hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought about this book. Let's get into Flat Stanley. Stanley Lambchop lived with his mother, his father, and his little brother, Arthur. Stanley was four feet tall, about a foot wide, and half an inch thick. He had been flat ever since a bulletin board fell on him. Oh, no. Mostly, Stanley liked being flat. He was very good at dodgeball and hide-and-seek. Will there be limbo at our party, asked Stanley. He was very good at limbo, too. Yes, said Mrs. Lambchop. Stanley's school was having a Halloween party. I want to see the haunted house, said Arthur. I hope it's really scary. Not too scary, said his mother. There will be small children at the party. Mrs. Lambchop zipped up Arthur's monster costume. She had sewn it herself. Perfect, she said. Scary, but not too scary. Stanley put on his costume, too. It was a blueberry pancake. You look good enough to eat, Mrs. Lambchop said. Let's go. Arthur and Mrs. Lambchop got in the car. Mr. Lambchop tied Stanley to the roof rack. All set, Stanley, he asked. All set, Stanley answered. The school gym was full of pirates and witches and fairies. Hey, look, Arthur said. Hay is for horses, Arthur, Miss Lambchop told him. I know, said Arthur. Look, a horse trotted by. Oh, said Mrs. Lambchop. Sorry, dear. There's the haunted house, said Arthur to Stanley. They stood in line behind the horse. What a clever costume, the horse's mother said to Stanley. You look as flat as a pancake. At last, their turn came. Come on, said Stanley. The boys stepped in. Boo, yelled a ghost. Arthur said the ghost sneakers look like Coach Bart's. <laughs> the werewolf howled, and then it sneezed. Bless you, said the ghost, politely to the werewolf. This isn't scary at all, Stanley said. Let's get out of here, Arthur. Outside, Arthur and Stanley saw a little boy crying. It was their neighbor, Martin Tibbs. What's wrong, asked Stanley. Did the haunted house scare you? No, Martin sniffled. Martin told them that a bully had stolen his giant candy corn. It was my prize for winning the limbo contest. He said, sadly, I missed the limbo contest. Rats, said Stanley. Where did the mean kid go, asked Arthur. Martin pointed across the gym, and all the boy leaned against the wall. Next to him was the candy corn. That's one big candy corn, said Arthur. That's one big kid, said Stanley. Stanley looked at Arthur's costume. I have an idea, he said. Make room for me, Arthur. Stanley took off his costume and slipped inside Arthur's. Then he whispered in Arthur's ear. <coughs> Excuse me. Great plan, Arthur said. Just don't blink. Arthur walked over to the big kid. Stanley didn't blink. Give that candy corn back or else, Arthur demanded. Or else what, said the bully. I'll tell you, everyone that you're scared of me, said Arthur. The kid stood up tall. He stepped right in front of Arthur and Stanley. Stanley didn't blink. Why should I be scared of you? A bully growled. I'm a two-headed monster, Arthur said. The boy pointed at Stanley's face. Ha, that head is so fake, he said. Then Stanley blinked. Fake, said Stanley. Oh, really? Ah, yelled the bully. He ran out of the gym, leaving the candy corn behind. Yes, yelled Stanley and Arthur. They jumped up and down inside Arthur's costume. Martin picked up his candy corn. Thanks, guys. 
Uh-oh, said Arthur. Stanley turned around. Mr. and Mrs. Lambchop was standing behind him. Arthur and Stanley Lambchop, I saw what you did. Mrs. Lambchop said sternly, that was scary. Then Mrs. Lambchop smiled, too scary. And that's the end of that book. That was Flat Stanley and the Haunted House by Jeff Brown and Mackie Pan and Twan. Copyright 2010. Now, don't forget, please hit that like button down below. <clears throat> please give it a sub and leave a comment. Tell me what you thought about it, okay? And as Papa and Flat Stanley always say, That was easy. Until next time, Papa is out. <laughs>